Kevin arrived at the cliff nearly midnight, eagerly waiting for Amanda in the tranquil moonlit night. The full moon illuminated the bay, where waves gently kissed the rocks below, creating a soothing ambiance. This marked the third summer their families had vacationed together, providing Kevin his first opportunity to be alone with Amanda. As he turned back toward the gate, he sensed a presence behind him. He initially assumed it was Amanda, but upon closer inspection, he saw a mysterious figure approaching in the moonlight, a woman with a disheveled appearance wearing a blood-stained white shirt with red sleeves. Puzzled by the stranger's presence at this late hour, Kevin wondered who she could be and why she was there. The woman, her face reflecting sorrow, walked past him, her eyes fixed on the ground and her hair matted and wet. She walked gracefully, but appeared lost in thought. Kevin couldn't shake the feeling that something unusual surrounded her, whether it was her unkempt appearance or the bloodstains on her shirt. As he glanced back at her while reaching the gate, she was still standing at the cliff's edge, staring out to sea. It was an inexplicable scene that left him bewildered. Startled, Kevin suddenly heard Amanda's voice behind him, revealing she had managed to sneak out. However, when he tried to point out the mysterious woman, she had vanished without a trace. They rushed to the cliff's edge, but there was no sign of her on the rocks below, nor on the path leading to the shore. Amanda suggested she might have left on a boat, but Kevin couldn't shake the feeling that she had disappeared into thin air. The next day, Kevin learned from Amanda that a young maid named Barbara had disappeared in the area years ago. She had worked at Ocean House, Amanda's grandmother's residence, and had vanished on her wedding day. Barbara had been a flirtatious and beautiful girl who had many admirers, which fueled local gossip when she accepted a marriage proposal. However, on the morning of her wedding, Barbara vanished without a trace. Despite extensive searches and inquiries, she was never found. Determined to uncover more about Barbara's story, Kevin suggested inviting the local sheriff, who had recently discovered a shocking revelation. Over dinner, the sheriff revealed that Barbara's disappearance had finally been solved. A fisherman, overcome by jealousy, had lured Barbara to the cliff, mistaking her for his brother's fiance, and murdered her in a fit of rage. He had disposed of her body at sea. The tragic truth behind Barbara's disappearance left everyone at the table in stunned silence, and Kevin couldn't help but reflect on the mysterious vision he had witnessed on that same cliff long ago. Please tell me what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.